Good morning and good morning to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this good morning Tottenham away video. I hope you guys well. I hope your families are all well. And for those of you who are up late like me or early hours of the morning, if you like, um, good morning. If you're watching this in the afternoon, good afternoon. And of course, for those of you are in a different time zone, good evening to you guys also. Guys, I just want to, obviously, we have to now move on from the North London derby and start looking as we are now on the eve of the Coventry game. Now, going into this game, um, uh, for those of you who uh, missed the Monday Night Live stream, um, head over to the channel and have a look at yesterday's um, stream. Really, really good uh, chat post-Arsenal, but also in the lead-up to the Coventry game and the games ahead and what we can expect moving forward. So, if you... Did miss it. Head over to have a look at it. For those of you who were on and Matt, loads of you in the chat, big up to you, all you guys as well. Um, so I was saying we need to move on and we need to look into the, the Coventry game. And these are my thoughts and I wanted to share them with you to let me know what you think of them. Um, as we go into that game, obviously I, I was saying in yesterday's stream, I don't want to see a situation where we make 11 changes or nine, 10 changes in the way we did against Fulham at Fulham last season and went out as a result of that. And that wasn't, I don't even think it was September. We went out in August. Now we're in the same situation against Coventry, who are a good side, nearly knocked out Man United, um, playing decent football under Mark Robbins. Um, don't want to go in there making nine, 10 changes. So my feeling is I think we should make some changes because we have to also, um, should it come to it, rely on players who have played probably a few minutes, less minutes than anyone else. I'm thinking of um, Spence, I'm thinking of uh, Archie Gray and players, you know, even Bergvold okay, giving him a few minutes. Um, I, uh, Dragusin, I think we should make two, three, maximum four changes. Um... And but keeping the core, so I'll Solanke. I'm thinking play Solanke because he needs some game time, and also it would do him a world of good if we can get a goal or two in that game. Um, play Madison, uh, bring Basuma back, uh, if he's fit, of course, and maybe in the wide areas, change something, perhaps rests on for this one. Um, Johnson Odeba, I'm thinking, um, but keep the midfield the same sort of with Bissouma, um, Madison and Kuluzewski. Of course, introduce Bergvall in the second half if the game allows you to do so. Or maybe in, maybe playing from the off. Let me know your thoughts on that. And at the back, obviously, Dragusin. Do we bring him in and keep Van der Ven in the cotton wall? Or do we replace um, Romero, give him a breather? But bring definitely Dragusin in. I was saying Spence... If Spence starts on that right hand side, then I will definitely keep Udogi on the left hand side, and then and, not, and do not change the goalkeeper. Uh, I know a lot of you have pelted Vicario, and then listen, I, and I criticise Vicario too in that goal in um, in the derby. But for me, um, I wouldn't go as far as changing him to play Foster in the same way as we did last year because for me playing Foster honestly I still have that Fulham game in my mind and I wasn't too pleased with the way he played at all in that game so for me I will stick with Ricardo so the question is guys is it to change or not to change for the game uh, against Coventry um, that's my that's my 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 theory in regards to that so let me know your thoughts in how we should go into um, this cup game. And of course, we can't really afford to lose this one here, man, because we don't want to go... Uh, we experienced that early exit last year. I certainly don't want to experience it again this season. And we want to try and go as far as we can in this competition. Um, although we're fully aware that the club... It's not really bothered about cup competition. It's more so they're probably more worried about where we are currently, thirteenth in the league. We want to bring that up, um, you know, make a few jumps 
up the, 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 the ladder there in, in the Premier League. Also, the next, looking beyond that, the next two, three games, we got obviously Coventry, um, Brentford and of course Carabag, I think is in the, in, the, in the Europa. I think those three games, for me, they have to be absolutely winnable games leading up to that United away game. I think if we have anything else leading up to that game, I think we could... And I think Stel mentioned it yesterday. We could really be in trouble against Man United away and Brighton away. So for me, we have to have a level of confidence going into those games. And that, the only way that you can get confidence going into those games is by winning Coventry, Brentford and again um, against Carabag in Europa Cup. Then we could start really putting that North London derby defeat behind us. But as always, guys, we have to go with one game at a time and the most important game is always the one you're about to play so for me all eyes and is whatever at the Coventry game on the Coventry game and only the Coventry game for me it's not a game that we should be um snubbing we, we should, can't can't put it to one side for me the level of importance has to be there which is why I don't want a completely a complete overhaul of the team and the starting eleven, because by doing that, the message that you give out is one of that this game is not that important. Focus has to go on to Brentford game. That's how we see it, and which is why I repeat, we should only make three maximum four changes start of the game, keeping the core, and really try and put this game to bed as soon as possible. Whilst I respect the. The, the Coventry are a decent side, like I said, they nearly knocked out Man United last season. Um, we really want to try and put this game to bed, get the confidence back up from the Sunday's game, after Sunday's game, and ideally try and score a few goals. To A, a, a few goals for our forwards, more so for Solanke if, if he plays or Son. They really need to get up on the score sheet and um, give them a little bit of confidence boost. Your thoughts in the comments below, guys. Like comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't really done so and i'll always end it in the same way as i do guys as always forever always come on you spurs the first game we look for robbie talk them away when we got talking away